Well, welcome everyone. So glad you are here. I am Father Marshall Shelley, and this is Evening Prayer at St. Peter's. We are, have begun our worship week. I am calling up the feed on my Facebook um, platform on my phone so I can follow along with a live chat. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and share with us your prayer concerns and thanksgivings. We're happy to offer those from YouTube at the next service, which will be morning prayer at 9 a.m., and if you offer them on live feed here on our Facebook live broadcast, you will be able to enjoy them. Um, you will be able to participate with us in that. Please follow along with us and uh, you can share the page with others and also share the event with others when we do go online live. And of course, you are always welcome to join us uh, whenever we are here. Uh, please do feel free to do so. We are moving on into an odd time in the Gospel of John. It's very difficult sometimes to find good illustrations. So this is kind of a scavenger hunt. So see if as we pray, you can figure out where this particular image links up with uh with our scriptures for the day because i have to really scrape <laughs> all right here we go and bless you. evening prayer for saint for saint peter's here on this monday the fourth week after epiphany let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice let us confess our sins against god and our neighbor most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 64 and 65. I'll offer the odd. Please respond with the even verses, that is. Mm -hmm. Hear my voice, O God, and my complaint. Preserve my life from the dread enemy. Hide me from the secret, Hide plots. Me from the secret plots of the wicked, from, from the scheming, scheming of, of evildoers. Evil who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows. Shooting from ambush, Shooting from ambush at the blameless, they shoot suddenly, they shoot and, suddenly without and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly. Thinking, who, Thinking, can, see who can see us? Who, who can, can search, search out our crimes? We have thought, we have out, thought out, out a cunningly conceived plot. plot. The human heart and mind are deep, but God will shoot his arrow at them. They will be wounded suddenly. Because of their tongue, because he, will of their tongue he will bring them to ruin. All, All who see, see them will harm. shake with horror. Then everyone will fear, they will tell what God has brought about, and ponder what he has done. Let the righteous rejoice, Let the righteous rejoice in the Lord, take the and take in refuge him. in him. Let, Let all, all the upright in heart glory. Praise is, you to, is due to you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. <laughs> o you who answer, o you who answer prayer, to, to you all, all flesh, flesh shall come. come. When deeds of iniquity overwhelm us, you forgive our transgressions. Happy are those, Happy are those whom you choose and bring near to live in your courts. Shall we shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. By awesome deeds, you answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. By your strength, you establish, By your strength, you establish the mountains. 
You are girded, you are girded with might. You silence the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at, Those Earth's, who live at Earth's farthest bounds are awed by your signs. You make the gateways, make the gateways of the morning and the evening, evening, shout, and the evening for shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people, you provide with, the people with grain, so you for so prepared. you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year, you crown with, the year with your bounty. Your wagon your tracks, wagon tracks overflow. overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows, the clothe, meadows themselves clothe themselves with flocks. The valleys, the valleys deck themselves, with, themselves with grain. Shout they sing shout and joy. sing together for joy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. My point is this. Heirs, as long as they are minors, are no better than slaves, though they are the owners of all the property. But they remain under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us, while we were minors, we were enslaved to the elemental spirits of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you were children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then, is also an heir through God. Formerly, you did not know God. You were enslaved to beings that, by nature, are not gods. Now, however, you have come to know God, or rather, to be known by God. How can you turn back again to the weak and beggarly elemental spirits? How can you want to be enslaved to them again? You're observing special days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid that my work for you may have been wasted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from John. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. And they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What signs are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What works are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it was my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to you. And anyone who comes to me will, have, will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me 
that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raised it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon. Together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing in joy. Give peace, O Lord, and all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving hell on all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things, both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time, grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for Elizabeth. We pray for Anne. Pray for Anne Marie and Doug. We pray for all those who are dealing with health concerns, that they may find healing and comfort. Pray for Marge. We pray for Jennifer and Ed. O oh God, 
You made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you and holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Well, everyone, that concludes evening prayer for today. That is the end of our worship day i believe it's the end of our work day we are off to have a, a a hopefully a restful evening and back together again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m for evening morning prayer and uh <laughs> evening morning prayer and we we'll pray together at nine whatever whatever happens happens and for those of for those of you who are interested tomorrow is also the opening the quiet soft opening of the thrift shop the shop at st peter's and uh we are looking forward to um being together in community and service and in, in that way uh wednesday we again have our wednesday night supper which is takeout and our mobile pantry is available to anyone who wants to come by grab grab a dinner grab all kinds of all kinds of canned goods baked goods pasta you name it it is it is an amazing ministry we have all our ministries are amazing i don't mean to uh don't mean to brag on one so whatever your evening has in store may it be restful and we will see you again tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m for prayer and if you are on youtube please like and subscribe ring the bell for notifications and if you're on Facebook, if you follow us, you will also know when we come on live, when we come online. So with that, have a good night and we will see you tomorrow. Take Bye -bye. care and God bless. Bye-bye. God bless.